Hello everyone. I was on Twitter this morning and a guy called Rebel Tom asked a question whether anybody had ever brought the same game on different platforms. So I thought for today's video I'd show you my collection of Another World games. I'll briefly go over them all. I won't go too much into detail because a lot of people will already know what Another World is. Absolutely amazing game made by Eric Chihi, if I've pronounced that right. Um, but yeah, one of my all time favourite games and one that I've dedicated myself to trying to collect on every system it was ever released for. Uh, which I'm only a few systems off really. One notably being the Apple II. I don't have that because it's around about £1,000 and I've never actually seen a real one. I've only ever seen two fake ones. So that seems to be one that's uh, hiding out there somewhere. But eventually one day I'll find it. Hopefully. But yeah, we'll go through. You'll see at the bottom here, there's a couple of books. This was a Pix and Love Edition 14, which unfortunately is all in French, and I can't read any French. But yeah, it's uh, it's not just about another world, but another world is the main inspiration for this episode issue. Yeah, that was limited to 750 copies by Pix and Love, who do a lot of uh, things like this, like uh, tributes to old classic games and the quality of the stuff they produce is absolutely beautiful. So check them out. Then we have the... This isn't actually opened, but there's the 20th edition PCCD and the some... Uh, oh, I can see better on the back. There's the Eric Chahi book um, and then there's the game with some postcards and there's a, a making of documentary and things like that and then a, a book very similar to the Pix and Love but I think it's more uh, just specifically on the work of Eric Chihi. Um and yeah this was also limited edition as well I do believe but I did try and do a kickstarter to try and translate it because that is also in French as well they did a kickstarter to try and translate it into English but sadly it didn't get uh, funded I don't think it was uh, advertised very well I don't think many people noticed it was on but that was a couple of years ago now and you got that with it if you were one of the uh, first people I think this card was limited to just a few hundred it's signed by Eric Yeah, I'll move these out of the way and then uh, I'll get down on the floor and start going through the games. Alright, first off we'll have a quick look at the Mega Drive version. Which, the Mega Drive and the snares, sadly it's got a bit of damage to the case, so we'll have to replace that one day. But uh, the Mega Drive and the snares versions were the first versions to be released. I'm not sure exactly which one came first. Uh, actually, sorry first console versions to be released. The first actual versions were like um, Atari ST and Amiga possibly um, but yeah the Atari ST was the the first version but the first console version would have been the Mega Drive and the Super NES which I'll try and check the dates on here um, the SNES one doesn't seem to have a year on it. Nope. But the Mega Drive one says 1993 for the Mega Drive one. Let's see, we've got the manual in there and the game. This looks like it was an ex-rental one from somewhere. And here we have the SNES version. 
Now, this is absolute beautiful condition. The snares once on. It's in a protected box, so I'm not going to take it out. Sorry, because it's just in such nice condition. We'll then move on to one of the PC versions. Now there are several uh, versions released for the PC. This is the 15th anniversary one, which comes with some cards inside. Includes a making of, another world documentary, a development diary, technical handbook, and the exclusive original soundtrack. And then we'll move on. This is the 20th anniversary PC disc. Now, uh, I think it was only France and Germany that got the 20th edition on physical disc. I don't think it was released anywhere else. Only the 15th anniversary, and then there was the 25th anniversary, which was DLC only. Uh, on PS4, Xbox, and I think Wii U. This one comes with the a hybrid version for PC and the Mac. Making of Another World. Uh, design, no, it's original soundtrack, a poster, the Amiga version with a Kickstarter, um, Kickstart emulator, and um, some original stills, which this hasn't been opened. Most of these I keep them sealed. If I get a duplicate copy, I'll probably open those and then do separate videos just showing the insides off. We'll move on to these two versions here now, which are for the 3DO. This is out of this world, so it would be the American version. And then there was... Oh, would this be the Japanese one? Was out of world Japanese or was out of world American? No, the Japanese one was called Outer World. That's right. Yeah, I've not really gone for regional variant. I mean, sorry, uh, NTSC variants or Japanese because I just want to get the power ones really. This is the actual 3DO version for PAL territories. And then we'll move on. We've got these two bad boys here, which as you'll see they're pretty much identical but they are actually two different releases and I'm going to do these separately because they are literally identical but this is the first release one on the Atari Jaguar I sadly found out about the print run like literally a month after pre-orders stopped and that was it they were only doing from RGC they were only doing <clears throat> enough to cover the pre-orders and that was it and um, luckily a few months later I managed to pick up this uh, I did pay £200 for it but um, I didn't think there were ever going to be any more so I paid that and then literally a few months later they started putting out the feelers for a second print run which was this one I got my name on the list and I paid I think this was like 50 pounds 50 euros delivered directly you know they took more pre-orders and made a second batch and this is the second batch but as you'll see it's exactly the same there is absolutely no difference between the box the cartridge or the manual and um, so I have to keep them in their original shipping boxes because if I got them mixed up I wouldn't have a clue which one was which now the probably is a board difference like on the board on the inside but the problem is with Jaguar cartridges is you can't look inside to the board without ruining the label on the cartridge because where the screws are the sticker goes over the top of them so you've literally got to ruin a cartridge just to open it so there's, you know, I keep them separate, and then I know which one's which. And finally, yeah, we're going to move on. This is, these might look the same, but 
one is the Atari ST version and the other one is the Amiga version well, these are discs nice bold fonted label uh, manual there and that was actually that's the same image what I've got on the signed print and then we have this is your uh, password wheel basically if you wanted to um, start off on different levels or oh, actually I think that I think it's the password to get into the game isn't it you needed one of these these things are unheard of nowadays. I mean, they were a stupid idea anyway, because people just printed them. Yeah, I think this one should be disc as well. Yep, yeah, I've got the wheel in there. But everything's pretty much exactly the same, just for a different format. Finally, we've got these two variants here, which again, this one's Amiga, and this one's Atari ST. Oh, sorry, sorry, I got that wrong, that one's PC. So we have the discs in there, all the world. Oh, there's a Kix catalogue here, that's interesting. I forgot I got this. That'd be quite nice to go through. I haven't actually looked at this. Uh, I might do uh, all a few pages stuck together. I might get this scanned and uploaded to the Retro Detect website. So I do a lot of stuff like that. Adverts and things like that I like to get on preserved. And then this is the PC version then. This should be disc as well. Yes. Now there are a few CD versions on the PC which I don't have yet. So another product catalogue feels a thicker one. Um, I don't have any CD versions yet, but I will be getting those uh, whenever I can find them for cheap enough. There is uh, regional variants as well of these big boxes that I'd like to get, but I only I like to get them on the different formats, but I'll only get the different. Uh, what's that one? Obviously you can see that the boxes are different and I'll only get them if there are big changes. Um, there are like other ones where they just release the same box but just put something else there and that's... Uh, to me that's not worth it. It's got to be by a different publisher or, or something like that. But then again when, I, when I've collected them all I probably will go back and just get everything. Because I love the game that much. To be honest, I don't play it a lot, but it's just the fact that I played it to death. And I know that if I put it on, I'm still going to love it as much as uh, I did 20 years ago. But yeah, that's my Another World collection. I'm sure, I'm sure I've got a CDI version. But I'm, I'm thinking now, was it actually released for the CDI? But I'm, I'm sure I've got a CDI version. But I could be wrong. But yeah, um Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Leave comments down below if you've got any copies of Another World and you love it or you don't like it or whatever. Or let me know if you've uh, brought any more than one game for a different platform or even the same platform. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video. Take care.